In this video, I'm going to show you how one tiny little change can add hundreds to your email list. Let's get started. Hey guys, Angie with AngieGinsler.com here. And in this video, I wanna show you one tiny little change that I made to a pop-up on my website. And that tiny little change actually allowed me to get hundreds more onto my email list in a matter of month. And it's really made a significant impact on the growth of my list. And it's one tiny little change to one tiny little pop-up on my website. Now, if you've followed me for a while, you know that I am in love with MailerLite. MailerLite is the email service provider software that I use for my email campaigns and to add subscribers onto my list. So I have MailerLite forms all over my website. So let me take you over to my website and show you some of these forms that I have on my website. So I have three different freebie opt-ins that someone can grab right away from the homepage. And when I click on the I need this button, it pulls up a pop-up for them to enter their name and information. And this is a MailerLite pop-up that I use for all three of these. And then I also have embedded in different landing pages. So this takes them to a landing page where I have some MailerLite forms actually embedded into the page. And let's go back and I'll show you a blog post. And then I have opt-in forms embedded in every single blog post that I have. So let's go to this one because I know that's a much more in-depth blog post. So let me scroll down and I'll show you one of these opt-ins. So this is one of the MailerLite opt-ins that I use. And I put these in every blog post throughout every blog post. And when someone signs up and they use this form to register, it tells MailerLite and then it starts an automation to deliver them whatever it is they signed up for as well as ongoing emails with additional tips related to that specific topic. So those are some of the different opt-ins that I have, but I also have a pop-up opt-in. So let me open up the website. I'm in an incognito window now, and you can see that pop-up just came up. And it's really actually supposed to start after 30 seconds, so that came a lot quicker than it should have. Um, but you can see how it pops in the window, and someone can still scroll through and see it, or they can get rid of it, or they can log in. Well, what I was experiencing with this pop-up back in November of 2018, I saw that it wasn't performing for me as well as I liked. And this is what the pop-up used to look like. And every time I saw it, I just thought, gosh, I just really don't like the look of that. It's really, it's hard to see the text. It's not very eye-catching or enticing. And here's the results that I was getting. This is a screenshot that I took of the stats in November. I believe I took it on November 29th of 2018. And you can see since I created the pop-up, it had given me 644 subscribers, which is great, but when you look at the conversion rate, it was only converting at 2.47%, which is not terrible, but I had a feeling that I could get the conversion rate up because I thought this, the design of it wasn't that eye-catching. So I made one tiny, tiny little change, and actually, that's not true, I made two changes. So let me show you the new design of the pop-up. So you can see the button is different. So let's focus on the button right now. In the previous one it was pink and then I made it blue. But the biggest change that you'll notice is the background image. So I took this kind of dull, boring background image that actually detracted from the text and I made it much more simple. And I have a little bit of dimension to it with those little background, kind of more um, transparent faded icons, but it's still much more simple and it pops, that bright pink color really pops more. And then I changed the subtext to be black. So I made very tiny, tiny little changes to that pop-up, but it actually made a really significant difference on my conversion rate. So one month later, and I believe I took this towards the end of December of 2018, so it was about four weeks to 30 days after the fact, I took another screenshot to just see how it was performing. And this screenshot, you'll see the conversion rate is now 3.36%, but that's not completely accurate because I still have all the previous data. Let's go back real quick. I still have that data from those 644 subscribers and the 26,000 pop-ups in here. 
So we need to do a little math to figure out the true accurate conversion rate. So if you subtract from those 36,000 pop-ups, the previous, what was it, 20, 26,000. So now we're left with about 10,000 pop-ups and the additional subscribers from that 1,200 minus the 644 is about five something close to 600. Well, I did the actual math before I did this video and found out that the new conversion rate within that 30 day window was 5.5%, which is incredible. If you think about it, all I did was take probably 10 minutes to change the image, the background image for this pop-up. I changed the subtext to black and I changed the button from pink to blue. Tiny little changes and it more than doubled my conversion rate, which is really incredible. So let's look at the math on this. If you look at the previous conversion rate, if I would have had a 5.5% conversion rate on these first 26,000 pop-ups, that would have brought me 1,431 email subscribers instead of 644, which would have been 787 additional subscribers. So think about that. I lost over 700 subscribers, but you know, that's just part of marketing. That's part of having a business. You need to constantly test, but that's why it's so important to continue to improve. So I could have said, yeah, I'm really happy with a 2.47% conversion rate and 644 subscribers is awesome. I'm so grateful for those subscribers. And I was grateful for them, but that's why it's important to continue to test and continue trying new things and improving and making better. Everything with online marketing and entrepreneurship is an ongoing journey. And you really need to treat it like a journey where you're continuously learning and continuously improving. And because I focused on that continuous improvement and continuous testing, here's what happened. So I had now 1,224 email subscribers but let's look at this. If I would not have made that change, I still would have had those 36 plus thousand pop-ups, but if I would not have made a change and my conversion rate continued to remain at 2.47%, I would only have 900 subscribers instead of the over 1200. So that means that one change netted me just in 30 days, an additional 324 subscribers. So tiny little changes to the design of the pop-up, which took me about 10 minutes brought me an additional 324 subscribers in just one month. So when you're thinking about your email list and growing your list, if you already have a lot of these pieces in place and you're a little bit further along in your journey, I want you to sit down and think about all the different places where you could make minor improvements and making these minor improvements could actually have a really significant impact and they're not going to take you a whole lot of time. So I could have spent probably an entire week's worth of time developing a whole new lead magnet in hopes of getting more subscribers, but the amount of time I would have had to invest in the development of that lead magnet and the producing the landing pages and the copy and, and everything that goes into that would have been extremely time consuming. Whereas I just invested 10 minutes and it netted me hundreds of new subscribers and it's continuing to net me hundreds of new subscribers each and every month. Now there's probably even a chance that I could make some more improvements. I could probably make a change to the copy. Let's go back to that pop-up. I could play around with testing that headline and changing that up and playing around with that and possibly even increase my conversion rate even more. But now that I have it at a 5.5%, I'm actually very happy with that conversion rate. It's a really good conversion rate for just a standard pop-up. So now I'm going to switch my focus to other opt-in forms and see if I can optimize those and improve them and increase the rates of those even more. Well, I hope you found this video helpful and it helped you understand how making just small little changes that don't really even require a whole lot of time, effort, energy can really make a significant impact on the growth of your email list. So I want you to take action and actually get some results for your own business from this video. So head on over to your email service provider and jump into all the opt-in forms and pop-ups you have and take a look at the stats. If you have any forms that are converting less than 5%, I want you to really take a hard look at them, analyze them, and figure out what changes can I make? Is it 
to the copy, to the imagery, to the, the actual offer itself. What changes can you make to that form to try and increase that conversion rate and increase the number of subscribers jumping onto your email list every single month? Now, before you go do that, it would mean the world to me if you commented down below and let me know what you thought of the video. And then please subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you get notified every time I publish a new video to help you grow your business using social media and digital marketing. Well, that's it for today. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.